So I'm comparing right now the fairway and the hybrid. There's some similarities, but there's some differences as well. Similarities, the Cortec chamber, obviously. By, by removing some of that stress from the face, we can go thinner, we can concentrate mass forward, we can get a great launch on it. Additionally, the face material is the same. On both of these, we're using what we call an MAS-1C. It's a miraging steel face that's really strong, that's thinner than we've ever been able to go before because of the Cortec chamber. One of the biggest differences, though, is on the crown side. The fairway has the composite, the hybrid does not. Honestly, that just speaks to size. The fairway wood with a larger footprint, you begin to recognize some weight savings with that, tight, with that composite crown. That allows us to pull more mass low. With the hybrid, because the actual span of the, of the crown is not that large, you would actually hurt yourself by putting the composite there. It would actually put more weight on the glue to put it in place than it would just to leave it with a waffle crown construction. So this, even though you don't see it, there's strategically thinned out areas within this stainless that help us concentrate more mass low. Again, both of these launch really easily because of the weighting, but one has the composite and one does not. With me, I've got two fairway woods. I've got a three and a five. I actually have both of them turned down a couple of degrees. So this is a 15 degree three wood turned down to about 13, and my five woods an 18 turned down to about 16. Honestly, both of them are great off the fairway, but I tend to lean more towards the five wood off the fairway. The fact that I have it opened up, it still launches high, but it, to me, that's a little bit more of a fairway club, and this is a little bit more of a tee club. That being said, this is easy to hit off the ground as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and strike one with this three. Yeah, at a dress, it's, I mean, it's really square, not overly big, kind of compact. To me, this is exactly what I want to look at squares the ball nicely. You can see the face, which is an important thing for me on a three wood. When you can see the face, it gives you that confidence to know that it's gonna get up a little bit. That's a good flight on that. It's very neutral. It doesn't really want to you know, leave its, leave its line very much. It just goes straight. And to me, I love the new fairway woods because they don't spin that much. You get a great ball speed and you get a really predictable ball flight. Feel is one of those things that it sounds subjective. Like everyone says, well, I either like it or I don't like it. But we've put science behind all of our feel. We actually engineer the sound into all of these clubs. So with the weighting of the club, with how it's reinforced, how we put sound ribs, our utilization of carbon and our utilize, utilization of the TPU within the Cortec chamber, all of these are little levers that you pull to affect the sound of the golf club. It's funny because it's something that sounds subjective like sound, it almost has become a science. To a man, every player has said the feel of these golf clubs feels the improvement from before. Even that one I missed a little bit. I kind of hit it on the heel a little, but it tracked dead straight. And that's what I want from a fairway wood is one, you know, especially when you're hitting it off the, off the fair, off the tee or something like that, you do it because you want it to go straighter. You don't want a big wide dispersion with the fairway wood. So with this new one, it does exactly that. Cortec Chamber gives you really good ball speed, even off the turf, low off the face. You get a good jump off of it and not too much spin. It's interesting when you look at Mizuno's lineup, we've had the CLK Hybrid has been in our lineup for a number of years. The performance is great, the look is great. It's unmistakably Mizuno when you look at it. Interesting thing about the STZ Hybrid is it's become part of the STZ family. It's somewhat replaced the CLK. Honestly, the biggest reason for that is because of what we discovered with the Cortec Chamber. This technology that was working for the driver, worked for the fairway wood, the same application, the same benefits of it work for the hybrid as well. So if you can remove some of that stress from the face, you can go thinner, you can concentrate mass low and forward, so it launches easy and carries very predictably. Yeah, when you look at this STZ hybrid, at address, there's some confidence built into that. You know, there's, it's a world of hybrids where there's some really big ones and there's some really small ones and not much in between. If it gets too small, it's intimidating. It doesn't look like it's gonna get in the air, doesn't look like it's gonna spin. If it gets too big, you might as well be playing a fairway wood. Now the fairway woods don't spin that much, that's kind of where a lot of people are leaning. 
This shape to me is the perfect shape for a hybrid. It's a little bit confidence inspiring, but it's not overly large. So it looks like it launches easy, really nice square shape, easy to square up. It actually looks like you have a little bit of workability with it.